So guys, we're here in Aragon today and today I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of what my setup is in the truck and also in the pit box. So if you want to follow me, I'll show you what we got. Unfortunately, I don't have any security guards yet. Oh, well, there is one girlfriend there. Everyone, this is JC. She accompanies most of the time. So this is basically where I get changed and the magic say happens. And there's nothing too technical, nothing more than you wouldn't expect for a racer. Leathers, I have a spare set ready. Same with boots, in case there is unfortunately an accident during practice or something. The cupboard is uh, more where I keep my older stuff. You know, with the COVID, we've got to have the screens, little mat for stretching, warming up and sleeping. Damaged set of leathers, another spare set of leathers just in case helmets and everything i keep that closed so got a bit more space in here because it's not a, the biggest of offices a few little snacks i suppose some chip ahoys you can only really get them in spain not for me of course being the athlete i got the rice cakes might have one or two to be fair with you guys um the speaker which is very important because i like to play a lot of music um dubstep's pretty good i like that electronic techno music Bottles, like I prepare for the session, so I have them for the pit box um, ready. I have my recovery drink there, pre-race drink there. So I have everything kind of set up how I want to do it. I have a magic nose piece that many of you might see and want to wonder what it is. And that lovely bit of kit will go with my mirror. Not for doing my makeup, for putting the nose clip in the right place. So might see a ugly face or two in there that'll be me and that's pretty much it we've got the physio bench for doing physio in the evening before and uh after races and that's what it's got um i've got a little box in here if you can see down this is a couple of trophies from Jerez. we've got the trophy from porto mayo here the super pole trophies nice little watch in there but the biggest problem is getting it home on the, on the aeroplane because we don't have so much weight we can take and a lot of back-to-back -back races. So that's pretty much the info, good as the magic gets in, uh, in my pre-race prep. So let's take a look in the pit box and I'll show you how I set up my helmets. Yeah, and this is as far as it goes for you guys, unfortunately. No entry, staff only. It looks like no animals allowed here in Aragon either. Right, so here we are. This is the rider corner. TV screens with lap time sectors. That's most important for me and my crew chief to see during the session and for me when I come in. I always take a seat, get a bit of air, see where the lap times are, debrief to the session to Gio and uh, explain what I'm feeling, if it's good or bad. Um, and I'll let him do his stuff. Um, here we have gum shield. It's, uh, it's a rider preference, a little muck off on there. The Liddy committee in there, the boys stuck it in for me last year. Um, I think it's a rider optional thing, it's not mandatory, but I quite like using it in that last lap battle when you've got to grip your teeth. Set of gloves here. Again, already prepared. I don't really wear new gloves in the weekend if it's possible. And if I do, I let Gio with the big hands, he'll fix that up. I have three helmets. I normally have a medium, a dark, and then my race helmet. My race helmet, as it's normally warmer, I have a Camelback system put inside. So that runs through the cheek pad, out the back, and that'll be where you see the straw coming out of our hump. We have the water pack in there, and that clips in. But I save that mainly for races, or if I'm gonna do a, a long run. Apart from that, all the helmets are exactly the same. Let me just see what's in here first before I show you too many details. Okay, so this is normally what we get. Track map, same as like if I'm talking here, but I will write stuff down on here um, to explain to the guys after this session, okay, maybe struggling for grip here. I don't have turn there and I can write it down. Um, so we can come back to my comments after. There's a few more things in there you can't see, of course. Chest protector here it is this is mandatory so you know spitty doing a good job getting something comfortable for me and in here in the magic little box underneath 
what do we have? I have spare sliders already prepared, ready to go on. Uh, elbow sliders. I have tear offs. I have different visors that uh, you know, medium, dark, clear, ready in case I need to change. I've got a little nice bag here, which is normally my grid bag. Uh, again, just extra knee sliders. I, I like to have everything organized and prepared so I don't have to do it during the weekend. Um, and again in here, that will be the spare set of gloves, like I said to you in the truck, where I keep everything spare in case something unfortunate happens. I have a rain jacket inside in case it rains. A few earplugs, keep the noise out, elbow sliders. Uh, a bit of visor, helmet cleaner, you know, just a few bits and bobs uh, to keep me all set for the weekend. And I keep that in there because if you don't know Scott Redding, he has a memory like a sieve. So if I keep everything in one box, I can't lose it. Hope you enjoyed this tour and now you've seen behind the scenes with Scott Redding.